welcome back to this exciting program with me here is our expected guest is here in the studio live and direct you're welcome to the show just introduce yourself to our audience out there okay actually my name is Pilo uh, born to win Krona uh, B award winner 2017 and uh, just a manifesting artist based active artist 2017 and um, the CEO of Art and Painting International Company, LAPIC. Yeah. That's nice, that's nice. So, with all these awards and all these things you have, how have you been coping with your music career? Well, it's been God all the way. It's been God. And it's been awesome. It's been with me throughout from the very first time I started making Potter Court. Yeah, it's been with me all through. It's been good, yeah. That. So can you tell us how long you've been in this music industry? Uh, basically, I started music officially in 2012, where I came up with a song, Born to Win. And that's the song that, that really pushed me far in Port Harcourt and all over the world, because they play my song in, in Europe, in LA, fans are calling me and telling me how they like this song Born to Win is a motivational song. Uh, a song that I literally got from my personal story. So how long have you been in the music industry? Uh, basically it's been six years. Yeah. Wow. So what really inspired you to do music? A lot of things inspired me. First I my story uh, where I came from and um, the fact that I'm a musician the fact that I knew how to sing is bad because a lot of friends in school when I was in secondary school were telling me I feel love you know how to sing you know how to sing because I did my first cover in secondary school I did for P square titled my everything so when I did the song all of my friends were telling me I feel love you good with the song makes sense try and go into the music now so friends initially inspired me and the uh, father that I knew how to inspired me to uh, my, my background. Yeah. So, have you ever had any challenges like in your music career since you started? Uh, yes, yes, it's a big yes. There are a lot of challenges, but, uh, but the major one I have is capital, investors, and I think uh, the media also. Yeah. I want to ask you one question. Have you ever been embarrassed while or during your performance on the stage or any time at all in your music career? It's a very big yes. I have been embarrassed several times uh, by DJs by uh, event planners because when I approached them telling them about my song I, w I wanted a platform for me to showcase what I got that I know how to sing I have a song but they would just tell me because they don't know my name they, they've not heard about my song anywhere they would just tell me that I should give chance so that I want to perform they would just collect my CD and they would not play it at that time I had I felt embarrassed when I gave uh, one of the this video pressing on my, my CD to play my song and collected my song, collected the little money I had but up to today I still did not hear the song on radio. I feel too embarrassed, probably he thinks that because I, uh, I never blew and all that because most musicians will not blow, they're not even them to play their song. But as we say, we now never blew to family then the Okay, you know, I love this outfit I'm seeing right now. Like, you know, you look like one of these pastors of nowadays, you know. I don't know, are you a pastor or what? You know, I, I didn't even know you were this uh, musician. When I heard you were coming, I thought you were going to put on chains, you know, big calves and the other something fabulous, but you just look like a real gentleman. That's nice. Actually, people think that musicians are we would. So when they see you, the first thing they think about is that you are an hoodlum based on the way they dress, based on the way they talk and the way they perceive themselves. But me, on my own part, I'm not just an artist. I'm also a CEO of a company, Lapik. So if I'm projecting myself, I have a style I want to project, but not now, 
basically. So that's why I, I try to put myself in a place whereby I, I'm not too loud, I'm not too cold. You understand? Because I am an artist and I'm a, I am also a CEO of a company. So that's why my dressing has to be not that loud. Yeah, it has to be more much. Yeah. You married? Uh, I'm not married. I'm not married. Like a married man. <laughs> so are you single? Are you single? Yes. Okay, so single and searching or single like I uh, I don't really want to talk about that right now, but I know I'm not searching for now. Hey, today. Oh. Okay, that is very good. So, can you just tell us what will be expected from you in your next project? Uh, that. My next project is, um, I have three projects coming up. One is uh, the Peel of Lockdown concert, the volume two of Peel of Lockdown concert. We did the last one in at the Suka, which so is the, the maiden edition. And uh, that's one of the projects I'm, I'm working on right now. Like the pillow load and cost that sapele elevation ash the elevation. It's gonna be ocean in Delta State. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the second one is uh, my album launch that is coming up by December. Yeah. And I'm equally looking forward to that will be recorded there very soon. By the grace of God, yeah. Well, hello. Yes, we need to put that. So can you just quickly give our audience how they're looking up to you some advice? Uh, I posted something, I think it was yesterday, telling people that um, my fans, my fellow lovers on Facebook, telling them that whatever you're doing, you have to be patient. And if it is in you, you have to be consistent. Because it is your patientness and the consistence you have inside of you that will make people to notice you. Because if you just want to worry up and do stuff, people people didn't notice you and you want to give up, you will end up not being heard. But if you are consistent, you know that this thing is born inside of you, you are consistent. You just be patient, you pray, you, you face the challenges, you don't allow them to defeat you. Definitely one day, as long as you pray and you praise God, definitely one day you're going to be heard. So my advice for them is to be patient why they do what they do and pray very hard because in this right now you need money you need god most especially god and you need money and patience yeah. that's a good one thank you for coming to our studio we appreciate and thank you for coming to my platform i really appreciate that okay so you heard that from p love himself so <coughs> decide for you to succeed you must be persistent and patient and don't procrastinate don't come from me don't procrastinate always make sure you look forward to doing what is in your mind don't ever let go of what you have in you okay so that was a good one from him and i also want to thank you our fans for staying glued to our program don't forget in our next episode we're bringing you more interesting programs and more interesting celebrities and you know how to do it and don't forget to also subscribe to our youtube stations and also subscribe to like our pages on instagram twitter and facebook so to meet again same station next time bye bye but before we go our celebrity is going to give us some freestyle don't let anything to deceive you the way you need me now so i need you let's stop this fighting and stop this killing what we need is true love one love one love i think what we need is one love one love one love and secondly uh, let me do something carry me along go oh, no leave me behind no man be island though you self you know say person we walk oh, supposed to shop aeroplane we fly oh, supposed to land you oh. oh go help your brother help your sister oh. help your friend you oh. oh go show some love 
do push and say if another man got me, oh, I am born to win. Oh, I think that will be all for now. <laughs> Thank you, we love that. I wrote WGTV for this platform. I really want to appreciate them. I thank you guys. You guys are awesome. You guys are good. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right.